Yesterday, the Common Council gave the city attorney the green light to hire outside attorneys and file this federal lawsuit, and they're wasting no time. Today is the, the day that we will be filing, getting things moving. It's Milwaukee versus Kia and Hyundai. Wednesday, the city attorney announcing they're taking the car companies to federal court over the stolen car crisis, hitting Milwaukee particularly hard. All the problems emanated out of Milwaukee. This is ground zero. The epicenter of the cause and problems that we've been experiencing throughout the country. City leaders say the police data speaks for itself. In 2021, Kia and Hyundai's accounted for more than 60% of all stolen cars in the city, an 800% jump from 2020. And already this year, thieves have stolen 667 Kia and Hyundai's. At the root of the lawsuit, claims of a defect in the vehicle's ignition systems, making them easy to steal and often winding up in police chases, crashes, and reckless driving mayhem. So it is my hope that not only do we curb the thefts, but that the city of Milwaukee um, recovers some of the damages for police, fire, DPW, and any other costs that we've had to incur as a result of the negligence of Kia and Hyundai. This number, we have no idea how large of a number it will be. But hopefully when we continue to move forward, we will have a, a better guesstimation of what that looks like. In what's expected to be a lengthy legal battle, the city teaming up with two outside law firms, one locally and one in Seattle. Why is this something that your office can't handle on its own? By partnering with this, we'll be, we will then be able to get experienced lawyers out of this deal. But for financial reasons and the city's uh, financial state of affairs, it kind of prohibit us from in trying to endeavor into such a lawsuit ourselves. It's a very expensive, very costly matter. Well up in the millions to try to prosecute. The city now in it for the long haul. Hillary, stolen cars are still a big problem for police. They are, Patrick. You know, MPD says that they are cracking down on offenders, implementing some new strategies like bait cars, which they say are working, but they say the danger still looms. On some disturbing trends that we have seen over the last couple of years, um, is that many of our shooters are shooting from stolen vehicles and many of our shooting victims are being shot in stolen vehicles. That's Assistant Chief, Police Chief there, Paul Formolo, speaking earlier this week with Attorney General Josh Call, who announced that he's leading a multi-state coalition against Kia and Hyundai, demanding accountability and action. Hillary Mintz reporting from downtown.